Chapter on what is to be said when entering the graveyard and supplicating for its occupants. It was narrated that Aisha said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, every time it was her night with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to go out at the end of the night to al baqi and say, Peace be upon you, O abode of believing people. What you were promised will come to you soon, after some delay, and we, if Allah wills, will join you soon. O Allah, forgive the people of al baqi al-Gharqad. It was narrated that Muhammad bin Qais bin Makhrama bin al-Muttalib said one day, Shall I not narrate to you from me and from my mother? He, the narrator, said, We thought that he meant his mother who had given birth to him. He said, Aisha said, Shall I not narrate to you from me and from the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him? We said, Yes. She said, When it was my night while the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him was with me, he came in and took off his rida, took off his sandals, and put them by his feet, spread the edge of his waist wrapper on his bed and lay down. He waited until he thought that I had gone to sleep. Then he slowly picked up his rida, slowly put on his sandals, opened the door slowly, and went out. Then he closed it slowly. I put my chemise over my head and covered my head and wrapped my waist wrapper around me. Then I set out following him until he reached al baqi where he stood for a long time. Then he raised his hands three times. Then he set off, so I set off. Then he hastened, so I hastened. Then he jogged, so I jogged. Then he ran, so I ran. Then I reached home before him and went in. No sooner had I laid down, but he came in and said, What is the matter, O Aisha? Why are you out of breath? I said, It is nothing. He said, Either you tell me or the subtle one, the all-aware, will tell me. I said, O Messenger of Allah, may my father and mother be sacrificed for you. And I told him. He said, So you were the person that I saw in front of me? I said, Yes. He gave me a painful shove on the chest. Then he said, Did you think that Allah and his Messenger would be unjust to you? I said, Whatever the people conceal, Allah knows it. Yes. He said, Jibreel came to me when you saw me. He called me, but he concealed it from you. And I answered him, but I concealed it from you. He would not enter upon you when you were not fully dressed. I thought that you had gone to sleep, and I did not want to wake you up. And I was afraid that you might be frightened. He, Jibreel, said, Your Lord is commanding you to go to the people of al baqi and pray for forgiveness for them. I said, What should I say to them? O Messenger of Allah. He said, Say, Assalamu ala ahlid diyari min al mu'minin wal muslimin, wa yarhamullahu al mustaqlimin minna wal mustaqhirin, wa inna, insha Allah, bikum lala hikun. Peace be upon the people of these abodes, believers and Muslims. May Allah have mercy on those of us who have gone on before and those who come later. And we will, if Allah wills, join you soon. It was narrated from Sulaiman bin Buraida that his father said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to teach them, when they went out to the graves, to say, According to the report of Abu Bakr, Assalamu ala ahli diyar, Peace be upon the people of these abodes. According to the report of Zuhair, Assalamu alaikum ahli diyar, min al mu'minin wal muslimin, wa inna insha Allah lalahiqoon. Peace be upon you. O people of these abodes, believers and Muslims, and we will, if Allah wills, join you soon. I ask Allah for pardon for us and for you.